Hi everyone, this month is Plastics Free July. And while it's impossible to go completely plastic free, there are a lot of things that we can do in our lives to eliminate, especially the single use plastics. As we know, plastics come from fossil fuels, which are decimating our planet. They also don't break down in the waste stream. They clog our sewers and waterways and decimate our ecosystem. But starting at home, there's some simple things we can do to reduce our everyday plastics use. One of the easiest ways to reduce single-use plastic is to carry reusable bags in the car. I always carry some big ones for grocery shopping. You can either use recycled plastic or cloth. And for smaller items like a drugstore or something else, I'll carry a smaller reusable bag. Another way that you can reduce single-use plastic is for your produce, rather than using single-use plastic bags, you can buy reusable produce bags. Some of it just comes down to simple choices. Single-use plastic versus cardboard. Another example are eggs. The old paper composite versus plastic. Another way to reduce plastic is to use bar soap at home as opposed to liquid soap in a disposable plastic bottle. But if you prefer to use liquid soap, buy the refill so you're not constantly throwing away a new bottle every time. If you're a big coffee drinker like me, you can reduce plastics by using a bag of ground coffee as opposed to plastic pods. However, if you do like your coffee or your espresso in a pod, many companies now sell aluminum pods and include recycling envelopes so you can sell the used pods back to the company free of charge. If you're out and about and you need a caffeine jolt, rather than using one of these cups, just keep a thermos in your car. All of the coffee shops will fill your thermos and you don't need the paper and the plastic from the cup. One of the worst offenders are individual, single-use plastic water bottles. These things are everywhere. There's no need for them. What you can do, fill up with a water bottle like this. It'll last you half the day. And in fact, many of the water fountains now are designed specifically to fill bottles as opposed to drinking straight from the fountain. If you're someone who likes to use a straw or you're in a restaurant, you can ask for no straw and either bring an aluminum straw or a glass straw. And finally, if you're out and about and you do want to buy a beverage, you can choose an aluminum can instead of a single-use plastic bottle. Aluminum is 100% recyclable for its full life cycle, much, much better than single-use plastic bottles. Another way to reduce the use of plastics is instead of single-use food plastic storage bags, use a glass container. These will last a long, long time. They have an airtight lid. Granted, it's plastic, but it will last much longer than a single use, and it's much better for the environment. Another area is personal grooming or shaving. Rather than using plastic disposable razors, please use a razor with a metal handle. While the cartridge may have some plastic in it, they last much longer, and you're using much less plastic than with those disposable plastic razors. Or you can just use an electric razor, which will last you for years. Finally, another good tip to reduce plastic is in the area of doing your laundry. You don't need to buy big plastic bottles. They still sell laundry detergent in good old fashioned cardboard boxes. So while we can't eliminate all plastics from our lives, and it may seem daunting at first to reduce the amount we use, as we've seen, there's some very, very simple steps that you can take to eliminate plastics or reduce plastics from your life. You can get more tips at the website below. So please join us in Plastics Free July.